Uh, Alright, anyways. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. Um, this episode I promised that I would be doing more of the story. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. How much storage do I have to take it up? Oh, a lot. Okay, well, I'm going to head to my chest or a trunk I don't know that weird room the sink wait ah good day citizen library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition Okay. Eradicate sedition. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety split. I'll have them pulped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again, clean and white, and sedition free. Can you do anything besides processing what good books? What is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. So you make blank books. What's the point blank of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. My books, huh? Yeah, I think I can find a use now for those. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. But those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy citizen. them. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. What the hell? Quite You require some additional Uh... Physical... Why is he snoring? <laughs> Where am I gonna put this stuff? Aid. Uh, fixing things. Locksmith. I'd like to buy some things. Okay. I need to sell scram medics. Purified water. Scotch. Vodka.
Oh. What about my Nuka Cola? Ah. Oh. Probably should have just sold those instead. I'm holding on to that. I don't know why. I just am. Um... No. Okay, let's see what you can actually give me. Nothing really I can use. Okay. Now we gotta head to that place where Dr. Mobius is. Okay. Um, I have to head that way. I need to equip the quest. Oh, wrong button. <sighs> Travel to the forbidden zone. Let's go there. Fighting over. All right, let's get to this forbidden zone. Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Dr. Boris, 100%. Naga. <laughs> you can jump while crouched. Steady. Fighty. Oh, you fuck. Stay away. Gotta get to the forbidden zone, but I also can't be a pussy. Damage 50 or 3 increase attack speed though. Alright, let's go. I don't have any quarrel with you. Z14. Okay. So DNA, uh, something lab. Oh. I would turn around and leave, but I, what's out there is not mm, something I want to go after right now. Create some stim packs. Oh, I got some stim packs. Proton Thron X. I think I would have checked that, but oh well. Oh, are Cazadors down here? Was that I'm gonna save real quick but at least now I know there's Cazadors ah! 
<gasps> oh my fuck. Oh, that's cool. I know how much health they have. Bitch. Does that feel oh, better? Oh no, we're out of medics. Studying the abominations created at the big mountain has granted you damage bonus against Kazdors. Yeah, fuck you, Kazdors, you son of a bitch. I'm not even going to open those. Oh. Yikes. What the hell? Casador eggs. Oh no, I'm leaving. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm no, no. I do not mess with Cazadors for a reason. Oh my gosh, there's a Cazador over there. I just seen its wing. Oh my gosh, I'm out. I'm leaving. Was that all? I don't know. <sighs> Ready? Steady. Are you fighting? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get him. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't go that way. I'm not going that way. Huh, he went all the way around. is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? I just told you. Was that all? Yeah. Is that a giant scorpion?
Well, if it was, no longer here anymore. Place. Ready, steady, fighty. Oh, fuck. Oh, Ulysses was here. Motherfucker. <laughs> there goes the arm. I don't want you to die. Calm down, Karen. I won't die. Fighting over. I'll take that then. Oh my gosh. What is this place for? This one looks pretty tough. And maybe so. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Ready, steady. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh crap. Well, here he comes. Gotta shoot him one more time. Got him. Fine, you want to fight? Oh, whoa, I, I'm not like that. No. you get a gun damn it uh -huh. whoa okay I don't know where that came from I'm gonna wear this for a little bit. Don't you like me anymore? Calm down. Is there a train? Ooh, crystal meth.
I gotta get in Please there. Please avoid boom down for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved. Okay then. Got your ass. Yeah, take a sip of my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, that's turret. Okay, I'll just try my best to keep off of that. I'm getting through one way or another. You guys can't stop me. I don't know what the hell is going on with that guy. Oh my god, there are so many. I'll just wait right here. I like how I can see their stuff now, like how much health they have, and their day T. That still sucks. What is mine at? Oh, mine's 21. 21. <laughs> I don't know what, what the hell. I'm hungry. Oh, missed. Time to go. Damn it, I'm gonna have to do the same thing I did not like doing. I gotta beat me a bitch. <laughs> you won't escape me. Yes, I can. I can. Oh, I can. I think I might need something else. 
Yikes. I think it has resistance to that. Damn it, you fuck. My gosh. So don't get hit directly with whatever the hell that was. I thought the giant scorpion was like way more bigger and dead. Come on. Oh, it looks like the target drones got activated. And oh, how cute. They're engaging the X-42 giant. Rush them with your incense. Let's see the shrapnel fly. Destroy the tail. If I can, I don't know if I can. Looking for a weak spot? There are no weak Scorpion bitch. X forty two attack in the name of Mobius. Fuck you, Mobius. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Well, this was better. I guess. Take that, that. Take that. That. What is this? Oh. What the hell are you, Mobius?
Damn it, well, it was worth a shot. Take that. Uh... Come on, open up. Or recon armor. Take that. Take that. Audio sample Mobius Robo Scorpion. You found a, a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox and the singing to recalibrate the sonic emitter to, for newer effects. I already have one of these. I don't know what it is. How much damage does this Save real quick. <clears throat> I do so What's up, Mobius? Hmm? Yo, hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Is that better? Depth <laughs> perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. The <laughs> flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Uh, thanks. Oh, I love Mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You aren't exactly what I was really? expecting. That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to after all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Why'd you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of reasons. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. 
If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I was curious about something. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. You don't seem aggressive. Why broadcast threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Can you tell me about your robo scorpions? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Wait, sounds like you built the robot scorpions, issued threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Everything you've told me doesn't add up. Your plan even. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Enough, I'm here to kill you. Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> I wished I had been. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minion? What minions? Oh, have they not constructed themselves yet? 
That's a bit premature of me. The Robo Scorpions, of course. They can assemble themselves from floor panels and parts scattered about. Quite inventive. Never really know when they might suddenly appear. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Mi oh yes, that's quite a bit better. Okay, I gotta heal real quick. I could probably have, like, spared him if I had the right stuff, but... That sucks. Oh, now it's time to kill me some little people. Oh my gosh. All the stuff finally loaded in. Oh, so much for that. I didn't want to kill him. Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? How the hell did Mobius get hold of After my brain? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. You seem like a pretty unlikely... Oh. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Okay, one second. Okay, thank God. Well, that answers that. On the other, on to something else. Is this? This is too weird. I'll be back later. How do I get it out? Oh, psycho. to scrubs. Ah, the meter. Why are you such a well, dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. 
I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? Of course, you're responsible. You're my I brain. I certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those <laughs> feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. But you're the source of most of those glands. Unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to I... blame. Well, look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Emity, you're just a gland you're all as oh, I am. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Don't you want to be reunite reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get I'm back to my I'm not going head. to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. What about the good things? What about a cool breeze on your cheek and the smell of food? Love. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm. I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So, we're at an in impasse. You can't feel what I feel, and I can't think the way you think. Indeed. Quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? Well, maybe we could keep going like this. What do you think? You mean I'll stay in my tank, and you'll stay in your skin? And we'll... So what do you say, Brain? Join me for some more wild adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll re Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? They promised to put us back together once I did what they and wanted. you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. You're part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? I'll handle the brains. You stay here. Oh, wait. If the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Right. Let's go. Look out, think tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sink's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited.
Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just, uh, I gotta get that up to 30 anyways, so I can unlock computers. Uh, let's see. Put that to 80. Repair. 60. Uh, melee weapons. Yeah. Do I have my brain in my with me now? Your brain. I have two brains in my inventory. That's a bit unsettling. Are all of those like offline now that I took out Dr. Mobius? Now we just gotta get to Dr. Klein and the rest of the scientists. Let's head on in. Whoa. You require some additional services? Yeah. Swap body parts. You require some additional... There we go. Oh, wait. What's the haps? I found a sand wave file for you. Right Scorpion. Oh, wrong thing. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Come on. Weapons. Dr. Mobius. The dog. Okay. Let's go.
Okay. I'm ready. Oh my. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Is Dr. Mobius being denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I found my brain. Now you I you and I are going to sit I recommend things. watching your tone with me. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we should discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you with it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. You think I am the lobotomite? No, you're my skull. No. For my skull houses the brain of Mobius. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. There's no way Mobius would condescend to step inside you. Besides, there's no way such a thing could be accomplished. It's impossible. I think you're past due for your lobotom lobotomy crap. Wait. I want to go back up and check. Try something real quick. Might I be of service? Might Sir care for an aperitif to bomb the weariness of Sir's manifold? Greetings, citizen. I have some dear, I don't know, material for you to process. Fantastic, citizen. Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you a beautiful, clean book. Won't that keep you happy and docile, citizen? Journeys. Greetings, citizen. Red all right, what can I do with a blank book? <laughs> Where is the blank book? Is there any reason for me to have a blank book? Hell is with my heart. Okay. Do I have anything that makes me? More battle with medical things? I guess not.
I don't want to fight them. I want us to be friends. I'm gonna go behind them. The Lobotomite returns. You must have killed him. He wouldn't have just let you walk. No, something is wrong. Your perspiration, heartbeat, all tell. Are you kidding me? Nonsense. Uh, I. Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, um, are you sure we've calculated all the combat probabilities here? I mean, the lobotomite confronted Mobius. Plus, you know, we haven't had a C-O-M-B-A-T drill in forever. I don't think we could form a tactical attack triangle if we wanted to. Releasing the W-O-M-B-A-T was not my plan, oh, so get off my voice box. Silencing opinionators. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of reason here. This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. There is good here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Like good old Gabe, the finest of lab specimens. Why am I even listening to you fools? The determinators are greater than the hesitators, so hesitators, be quiet! We are bigger, smarter, and floatier than you, lobotomites. We don't wish to fight you, so surrender your... I don't want to fight them. One second. Okay. Okay, I know, I know, I know what I'm going to do.
Damn it. I only don't want to fight them because I know I'm not going to win that. hidden. I'm gonna head to the think tank. Oh shit. Gotta go. Oh, I was crouching for some reason. Okay, I know how to fix that. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. I don't know. O sounds more. All right. So you want me to call you zero? Zero or... is my name. I'm proud of it. All right. It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. I'm gonna go see if I have anything to get my intelligence up more. Okay, so he's Dr. Zero. <laughs> I forgot I did not even put that thing on. If you wanted a different wanted to differentiate, I don't know, does it the O and the O or zero. Just put a slash through the zero. What? Zero, draw a slash did, through it. Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant. I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion <laughs> eventually. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm, uh, I'm useless. So, 
Is that what you want to be? Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to well, zero. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. To make a zero in all the think tank, they won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. <laughs> so zero got an amazing discovery. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at us. Just uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? Huh. Certainly is. Interesting. Whatever it once was. I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors. And those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Okay. Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. What do you do All here? things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Okay, well, that's too fixed. And you return. Looking gesture of Living. greeting. Yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. What, uh, uh baba daba daba it daba? Is, <laughs> according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. I feel strange in here, peaceful, but it is on the edge. classification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Is there a way to shut? Any way to shut Why it off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. I think I help. Uh, something? I don't know. Wait a minute.
I have some questions about this brain extraction you all perform. Mobius set up the auto doc medical routine, so you think he's responsible for the post organ dump? Yes. Always leaves back doors into things. Have to keep finding them and closing them. The auto doc is now erased of his routines. It was thorough. Only Mobius would know for sure what happened with the procedure. Perhaps. Well, and your brain, of course, it would know as well. My brain would know. It can communicate the procedure when we examine it. It is conceivable to trace its surgical scalpel prints once we have the brain. Might take some. Mobius's legacy code was in the old auto dock. Yes, it fried itself after your procedure so he couldn't tell for sure. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred. Even if we installed another chip, the information is lost. Okay, then. Okay, well, I somewhat beat the thing. I never got past the first, the last part, because I'm trying to do it passively, just because I know if I try to attack them at all, I'd be dead. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next episode. The next episode will probably be short once I finish this. But anyways, goodbye and bye-bye. Might Sir care for an aperitif to bomb the weariness of Sir's manifold journeys? Okay then.